Well, let's continue our discussion working now with three-dimensional vectors and exact differentials. So we have some vector, we call it F. It has an I component, a J, and a K component. And each one of these components, the P, Q, R components, those can be functions now, each one of these, an expression of X, Y, and Z. And if we take the dot product of our vector with the displacement position vector in three dimensions, of course, it gives us this expression. And this is a general form of a line integral now in three dimensions along a space curve. What we showed in the uh, previous video is if these three equations hold up to be true, then in fact this is an exact uh, differential. And we had an example of that in the previous video. Where this is P, this is Q, and this is R. And we left off with this question. If we have an exact differential and we're taking the closed line integral, does it have to be equal to zero? We know if we're in two dimensions and we have an exact line integral, that indeed it must uh, be equal to zero. But what about when we're in three dimensions? Now, here, if we just looked at this line integral, we'd realize that the three-dimensional vector that's involved would be, this would be the ith component, this would be the jth component, this would be the kth component. Or if we have a vector like this, then we would say, well, if this times dx plus this times dy plus this times dz, if these equations hold up, then that would form an exact differential. Let's ask this question. What happens when we take the curl of this kind of vector? That is, what happens when we take the curl of a vector whose components can form an exact differential? Now, we had one of our very first videos. We consider the curl operation where we have the del operator now in three dimensions. We have a vector in three dimensions, i, j, and k component. And then each one of these, the p, the q, and the r, could be expressions of x, y, and z. Now I want to take the cross product of the del operator with that vector. That's what the curl is. Of course, we express that in determinant form like this. At the top row, those are the unit vectors i, j, k. Then the second row are the components of the del operator. And the third row are the components of our vector. So we expand this out using minors. And this is what we obtain then. This would be the curl vector, the expression for it. Now, if these P, Q, and R components of the vector, if they also can form a, an exact differential when we have P dx plus Q dy plus R dz, remember these three equations right here have to be true. The partial of R with respect to y has to equal the partial of q with respect to z. We'll look at the i component. We have the partial r with respect to y minus the partial of q with respect to z. So the i component would be 0 of the curl vector if, in fact, these would be then the components of an exact differential. Now let's take a look at the j component. We have the partial of r with respect to x minus the partial of p with respect to z. Well, if it's an exact differential, those are going to be equal. 
So the J component of the curl will be z will also be zero. Then for the K component it is this. But again, if the P, Q, and R are the components of an exact differential, then the partial of Q with respect to X has to equal the partial of P with respect to Y, so that's zero. So what that means is that we know that this DX plus this DY plus that DZ, that is an exact differential that we proved in the previous video. So that means then that the curl of that vector equals zero. And whenever the P, Q, and R components of a vector are the components of an exact differential, its curl will always be equal to zero because these three equations will always be satisfied, thereby making the i, j, and k components of the curl all being equal to zero. Now, does that help us answer our question concerning this closed line integral when we have the three-dimensional case? Remember, when we had the two-dimensional case, like this, now we're just in the xy plane, this line integral equals this double integral. This would be a closed curve. This is the double integral over the region inside the curve. We derived this equation in previous videos in our series, but if this is an exact differential, the partial of Q with respect to X equals the partial of P with respect to Y, so that's zero. Therefore, this closed line integral is always zero. But again, we showed this in the two-dimensional case. However, remember that for Green's theorem in the plane, this equation, we also derived this in one of our videos in vector notation. And in vector notation, this comes out being equal to this expression. We have the line integral, and now we're expressing it as f dot dr, or of course, this would give you p dx plus q dy. We've shown that in the previous videos, but we want to have Green's theorem in vector form now. And this is equal to the double integral of the curl of our vector dot dA. Now, our vector, though, is in two dimensions. So it would be in general form like this. pi plus qj, where both this can be expression of xy, and that can be an expression of xy. But this is only in two dimensions. So when we take the curl here, the del operator is only going to be the partial with respect to x times i, plus the partial with respect to y times j, and it stops. And in a previous video, we had this diagram. So here we are. This is just in the xy plane. And when we say dA, as we explained in the previous video, that would just be the area vector for inside this plane figure. Well, with our problem, Here, it would be a line integral of f dot dr, only 
F is in three dimensions. So you know we have P I plus Q J plus R K. That's F, and of course DR is just DXI plus DYJ plus DZ. K. But the point is, we are in three dimensions now. This is in two dimensions. However, this equation here does have an analogous form in three dimensions, and it's called Stokes theorem. So this is a three dimensional vector. It has x, y, and z components to it. This is in three dimensions, and this is, now this then is just the double integral taken about a plane area in the xy plane. If this is in three dimensions, and of course our displacement vector, our displacement position vector, that's in three dimensions, that is equal to, it's the same expression del cross f dot da but this is about a solid figure so this is a surface integral so we're in two dimensions it equals this double integral about closed plane curve. When this is in three dimensions, we have a solid figure, and this is the surface integral. But it still involves the curl here. Now the curl is in three dimensions, as we just considered right here with i, j, and k components. This is called Stokes' theorem, and we will prove this in a future video. What we want to point out right now is that when this is zero, then the closed line integral also has to be zero. And what we showed is that if this, this, and this are the components of an exact differential, the curl of that is equal to zero. So it means that this will be equal to zero then when for our vector f, but in general form is PI plus QJ plus RK. When these are the components of an exact differential, that curl equals zero, therefore that closed line integral has to be equal to zero. Therefore we go up to here and we can say yes, this closed line integral has to be zero because these are the components of an exact differential. Therefore, the curl of this vector, where this is the ith component, the jth component, and the kth component, the curl of that vector will be zero. Therefore, that surface integral will be zero. Therefore, that line integral will be zero. And again, we will prove Stokes' theorem um, in another video. We just wanted to point out that as in the two-dimensional case, when we have three-dimensional line integrals, if it involves an exact differential, then the closed line integral, once again, has to be equal to zero. Um, okay, that'll be it for this video then. Um, the playlist for all the videos in these series on vector analysis is at the website at digital-university.org.